Welcome back to another session of surface areas and volumes. This is the last session children. In this session we are going to do exercise 10.4, the 10th sum. Okay? Exercise 10.4, page number 241, 10th one. Okay, children, look into your textbooks. I am reading the question for you. A metallic cylinder of diameter 5 cm and height 3 1 by 3 cm is melted and cast into a sphere. What is its diameter? We have a cylinder and it is melted and it is recasted in the shape of a sphere. We have done these kind of sums in the first exercise also. Yes, when the same cylinder is being recasting, it is being melted and put into another shape, that means volume will be same. Volume of cylinder will be equal to volume of the sphere. Okay children, is that clear? So first let us write what is given to us. They gave us diameter of a metallic cylinder. Yes, that is given to us as 5 cm. As soon as we get diameter, we are supposed to find what? We are supposed to find the radius. Okay, radius of the metallic cylinder will be equal to 5 by 2, which, be, which will be equal to 2.5 cm. Yes, children, they also gave us height of the metallic cylinder. That is equal to 3, 1 by 3 cm. It is a mixed fraction. Let us write it as improper fraction. So that becomes 10 by 3 centimeter. Okay. Then we have to find volume of the cylinder. Why are we finding volume of the cylinder? Because if we find the volume of the cylinder, we will come to know the volume of the sphere as well. Okay. The formula to find volume of the cylinder is pi r square h. Substituting in the formula, it is 22 by 7 into r is 2.5 it's r square so multiplying 2.5 once again and h is nothing but 10 by 3 nothing gets striked out so i'm not finding the answer i'm going to equate it with the volume of the sphere okay children we all know because the same thing is being recasted volume of the cylinder will be equal to volume of the sphere yes children what is the formula to find volume of the sphere we have 4 by 3 pi r cube. So this is nothing but the volume of the cylinder. So I am equating them. 4 by 3 pi r cube is equal to 22 by 7 into 2.5 into 2.5 into 10 by 3. We are actually supposed to find the value of the diameter. So let me find the r first. Okay. I will send, I will keep r cube on my left hand side. And I will send all the other terms to the right hand side. First write the right hand side as it is. We have 22 by 7 into 2.5 into 2.5 into 10 by 3. Now this 4 by 3 when it comes to the other side it becomes 3 by 4 into pi that is 22 by 7. When it comes to the other side it becomes 7 by 22. Yes children. So 7 and 7 gets dragged out. 3 and 3 gets dragged out. 22 and 22 gets dragged out. 10 and 4 gets striked out using 2 table, 2 5s are, 2 twos are. So we are left with 5 by 2. So r cube is nothing but 2.5 into 2.5 into 5 by 2 is nothing but 2.5. So r cube is 2.5 whole cube. r will be nothing but 2.5 centimeter. Is that clear children? What did they ask us to find? They asked us to find the diameter of the sphere. So diameter of the sphere is equals to 2r correct we know diameter is nothing but twice the radius so it is 2 into 2.5 centimeter which will be equal to 5 centimeter is that clear children okay moving on to the next sum of this exercise this exercise is very important children please concentrate and do it on your own the 11th one how many liters of milk can a hemispherical bowl of diameter 10.5 centimeter hold Children, do it as your homework. This is only formula based. Use the formula. Volume of the hemispherical bowl is 2 by 3 pi r cube. 
use this formula 2 by 3 pi r cube and whatever answer you get convert to convert it into liters divide by 1000 ok children I am giving you this as your homework now the last sum which is very important pay attention and listen a, hem a hemispherical bowl has diameter 9 cm the liquid is poured into cylindrical bottles of diameter 3 cm and height 3 cm if a full bowl of liquid is filled in the bottles find how many bottles are required ok now in this sum we are going what we are doing we have a hemispherical bowl you know what is a hemispherical bowl yes a big bowl and from that we are taking out liquid and pouring it into small bottles so that how much how many bottles can be filled using the liquid that is in the hemispherical bowl this is the question okay is that clear children we have to empty that hemispherical bowl into the small bottles so what do we have to do it is very simple you have to first write what is given to us the 11th one is homework so I'm doing the 12th one now and this is very important question okay so we have diameter of a hemispherical bowl this is given to us here hemispherical bowl that is equals to 9 centimeter as soon as you get diameter what are you supposed to find you are supposed to find the radius radius of the hemispherical bowl will be equal to 9 by 2 that is equals to 4.5 meter yes children so let us find how much water is there in that bowl volume of the hemispherical bowl will be equal to 2 by 3 pi r cube yes this is the formula to find volume of a hemispherical bowl so that will be equal to 2 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 4.5 into 4.5 into 4.5 yes children okay so that is equals to let us strike out 3 1s are 3 1s are 3 3 5s are 15 okay so this is nothing but equal to 44 into 30.375 divided by 7 if you multiply all of these you will get 30.375 okay children now next multiply and divide you will get the answer 190.92 centimeter cube okay then find the volume of cylinder volume of the cylinder so that is equals to pi r square h what is the value of pi 22 by 7 into 1.5 into 1.5 into 3 so if we find the value when you multiply and divide you will get 21.19 centimeter cube so number of bottles number of bottles is equals to volume of bowl divided by volume of cylindrical bottle so that will be equal to 190.92 divided by 21.19 Removing the decimals, multiplying the numerator and denominator by 100, we get 19092 divided by 2119. If you divide, you will get 9. Okay, children? So, 9 bottles can be filled. This is one method. We have one more method to find the number of bottles required. What we can do? We can directly write the formula. What is the formula to find volume of hemispherical bowl? It is 2 by 3 into pi r cube yes divided by what else what is the volume of the cylindrical bottle it is pi r square h okay you can strike out and then substitute if you do in this way also you will get the same answer try this method or the method that i have shown any method you follow you get the same answer children complete your classwork and submit it as soon as possible because we have completed our chapter thank you